Up next, we take you on a ride to Afghanistan. Despite uncertainty and chaos, the country's love affair for the Toyota Corolla still runs deep. Be it citizens or the Taliban, the Toyota is very much a common theme. The 15th of August, 2021. Taliban flocked the streets of Kabul as the group seized power again in Afghanistan. But there's another image attached to this date. Along with the Taliban, their favorite mode of transport also made its return. Armies invade and retreat. It's time for American troops to come home. Governments rise and fall. But this is one vehicle that remains constant. The Toyota pickup truck. The sturdy vehicle made by the Japanese automaker became a curiously iconic symbol of Taliban force in the 1990s. The Toyota tag goes beyond the signature Taliban SUV. Today, the Toyota Corolla has become a household name here. So, why did this car become an instant hit in the war-torn country? The Toyota Corolla is popular in Afghanistan because the spare parts are more readily available compared to other cars like the Benz, BMWs and some of the other brands of cars. The Toyota Corolla, all the spare parts and the car itself and everything is very strong. Afghanistan has a lot of mountains and deserts and all other cars except for the Toyota Corolla have failed to show good results. Sturdy, uncomplicated and affordable. In a nation where roads dissolve into punishing terrain, repairs rely on freight supply chains and a make-do mentality is universal. This is the ideal vehicle. They are good cars. Other cars are flimsy like paper. The Corollas are solid. The Japanese cars are especially good. The Corolla is quick, their metal is bold and they work well. The Toyota Corolla is said to be the world's most popular car with over 50 million units trundling off production lines since 1966. Corollas flooded Afghanistan after the withdrawal of Soviet forces in 1989 and the subsequent collapse of the USSR. They've had a background role in national history ever since. They're a replacement for Moscow's state-owned Lada brand. A decade later, when Washington launched airstrikes after the 9-11 attacks, Taliban founder Mullah Omar fled his Kandahar hideaway in a white Corolla. It was buried in 2001, but the getaway car was triumphantly excavated last year. Over 20 years of the Taliban insurgency, the Corolla became the vehicle of choice for car bombers too. Earlier this year, Taliban authorities boasted about a new Afghan-designed sports car, a supposed symbol of progress. But under its sleek aerodynamic exterior were the mechanical innards of a modest Corolla. Well, the thing is that in other countries, everything is done in standard ways. But in Afghanistan, people don't care much about standards. The Afghan Toyota bond certainly does come across as enduring. The Taliban vehicle of authority and terror and war and luxury and more.